Hi, welcome back to another video. My name is Shazil Hassan and I'm the lead prescriber for Pharmacy Republic. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the mechanism of action of diazepam. Now, diazepam belongs to a family of drugs known as the benzodiazepines. And the way the benzodiazepines work in the brain, they enhance the action of a natural transmitter, neurotransmitter found in the brain called GABA. Now, GABA stands for gamma aminobutyric acid. And when we're talking about gamma, we don't mean gamma rays. Accidental overdose of gamma radiation alters his body chemistry. Now, GABA or gamma aminobutyric acid is an important neurotransmitter involved with anxiety. And it is the main inhibitory neurotransmitter that is found in the brain. And it plays an important regulatory role in controlling the excitability of neurons found in certain parts of the brain. And when we're talking about fear, anxiety, and worry, there's two areas that we are really focusing on. One is the amygdala, and the other is the corticostriatal thalamocortical loop, which is found in the prefrontal cortex. Now, both these areas have been found to be involved in the production of excessive fear, worry, and anxiety. So when we stimulate the actions of GABA, which is an inhibitory neuron, we decrease the excitability of neurons in these areas, there, thereby creating that calming effect. Now, before we go any further, it's useful just to have a quick revision to have a look at how nerves transmit data or information between themselves. Now, imagine my arm is a nerve cell. We have a cell body here and we have an axon, which can be quite long, which facilitates the transmission of information over large areas in the body. Now, when two nerve cells meet, they don't touch. There's a gap between them called a synapse. Now, let's go to this diagram here. So here you have, we call this the presynaptic neuron, and that's carrying the message, which needs to be relayed to the postsynaptic neur neuron. So a message has to somehow jump across this gap or synapse. So when we're talking about nerves, there's an association of electricity. That's how it can convey information in a rapid manner. So there are electric currents that flow along nerves and these are called action potentials simply they're just the flow of ions and so when this electrical stimulation gets to the cell body it can't jump across this space here so what it does it stimulates the release of a neurotransmitter so if this presynaptic neuron was inhibitory i.e it has got loads of GABA. It will stimulate the release of GABA from the cell body, which will diffuse across the synapse and bind to a GABA receptor in the postsynaptic neuron. So when this neurotransmitter GABA binds or docks with this receptor, it increases the conduction of chloride ions. It makes the inside of the cell more negative. We, call, we say that it hyperpolarizes the cell. This cell is now in a process, uh, we call this process hyperpolarization. It's more negative inside the cell than outside, and that gives, stops the propagation of that signal, okay? That's basically how it works. So let's look at the actual receptor itself. Now, GABA combined to a number of different receptors. There's different subtypes, but the subtype that we're interested in is called the GABA-A subtype because this is the subtype that the benzodiazepines actually bind to. So the, GA uh, the GABA receptor, the GABA-A receptor is composed of five subunits. They lie half in, half out of the cell. And they form a pore. So they form a pore through which chloride ions can pass through, okay? so. The chloride ions on the outside of the cell, when GABA diffuses from the presynaptic neuron to the postsynaptic neuron on its binding site, it increases the conduction of these negative chloride ions to flow through and make the inside of the cell more negative. It hyperpolarizes the cell, okay? That, and that basically reduces the excit excitivity of the cell. 
Now, remember we said on the GABA-A receptor, there is a binding site for the benzodiazepines. So for example, when diazepam will bind to the GABA-A receptor in the absence of GABA, it does nothing for the conduction of the chloride ions. This is an example of the GABA receptor in its resting state. In the absence of GABA, doesn't matter if, you, if the diazepam is bound to it, it's not gonna have an effect. It's not going to make the inside of the cell more negative. However, when GABA is already bound to its uh, binding site on the GABA-A receptor and it is then joined by diazepam or any other benzodiazepine, it massively increases the conduction of chloride ions. So we drastically make the inside of the cell more negative and we reduce the excitability of that neuron. And when we take diazepam, then that's what gives us this calming, sedative-like effect, okay? We've just basically enhanced the actions of GABA. We've increased the conduction of the chloride ions. The benzodiazepines are also known as a positive allosteric modulator. What that basically means is they potentiate the actions of GABA. GABA's natural action is to increase the conduction of chloride ions. When the diazepam or benzodiazepines binds to its receptor, it increases the action of the, uh, the natural action of the GABA, but it doesn't bind to the same site. It binds to a different site. We call that, it binds to an allosteric site. So that's why we call this a positive allosteric modulator. So that, this video uh, has explained how diazepam works, uh, the mechanism of action. So now you know what happens if you ever are prescribed diazepam, how it's working. It's basically increasing the effects of GABA, which is calming the excitability of the neurons down in those two brain areas in particular. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And don't forget to press that bell icon so you get notified of our next video. So, and also don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I will get back to you. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.